All right, lads. BSBI here. Big sip beer review. And when I'm working, because it's my weekend in work, it's quite hard to get home and think, i got to sit in front of that camera now and do a review. So I tend not to do them. I thought, you've got to be in the right mood to review. But this one is a special, special review, which I couldn't, I could not wait until Monday to do my next review. So I'm going to do it now. Um... I'm not going to wait any much longer, right? The, today's review is the Bootlegger 1974 Pilsner. Oh, I cannot wait to review this. God alive. Um, wow, just broke my Mrs. Bracelet live on camera. <laughs> this is gold. Anyway, she's going to kill me now in a minute, but don't matter. She's in the shower. So I told her, don't disturb me, I'm filming. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. All right, let's get back to it now. Sorry, Ooh, review and head on. All right, I do apologize. I reviewed the Wrexham Lager about two days ago if you're um, a subscriber and a viewer to my channel. And I just just mentioned a slight apology. If you do search for the Wrexham Lager and you could only find my review. So like I said, I only just started out. So I'm not the best that there's better reviewers out there than me. So I'm going to say about the same thing about the Bootlegger 1974 Pilsner. If you're looking on YouTube for a review of this, and I think I'm the first man to review it, I do apologise. You only can find me. Hopefully someone of the other reviewers of a higher standard will review it. So we can have a compare mine or whatever and see what anyone get in. So I say you can't go off, I can't go off anyone's. It's just my personal review now. So I do. Right. Anyway, so get get into it. It is a gold cap. Nothing on it. Come on. Um, if no one knows or you're a viewer and you haven't don't know about this guy bootlegger, he was a Twitter sensation. Absolutely hilarious. The guy is. Um, basically, he started filming um, in Wrexham, watching a football, doing mad stuff, wears stupid hats. Hilarious guy. He comes out with some cracking one-liners. Um, he's hilarious. Uh, his name's Carl Phillips, but better known as Bootlegger. If you are interested in that, he is a funny guy. Just type his name in on um, YouTube and just bootleggers, bootlegger funny funny clips. You, you'll find loads and loads and loads of his clips. See, so he's, he's an absolute top, top guy. And I think he's you can bet on this guy to now go into I'm a Celebrity the next episode or whatever, next series, whenever that's coming on. You can't actually bet on this guy. <laughs> I might chuck a sneaky quid on him because he is get this guy is getting famous. Anyway, let's get to the beer. Um, yeah, it's a Pilsner Lager. Um, when you've had a gruler. I've had a gruler today. So this will be a beauty, beautiful drink for me. Um, my spidey senses tell me things are going to get tasty baby. So... Again, that's one of his famous one-liners from his YouTube clips. When I think that was from watching a local derby and the fans started kicking off. He, he checked that line in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's uh, produced at the Wrexham Lager Company in North Wales. Like I said, I've done the Wrexham Export Lager last week, which is a lovely, lovely swell. But I don't like to say other drinks when I'm reviewing this or a certain drink, if you can get me. Anyway, um doesn't say a lot on a bottle, just a couple of his freezes. Um, contains malted barley. So, yeah. Um, yep, anyway. Is, I've been talking for four minutes. I can't get into it now. Right then, chin chin, old buddy. It's a bit early for that one. Right then. No, you can smell a little bit of, um, little bit of lager on him. But um, nothing stands out off the bottle smell anyway. Nice glug at the end there. Um, it is a quite a live, well, mid, mid to lively carbonation, forming a two or one and a half finger white foamy head. And we are very pale in colour, a straw, strawy pale colour. And if you can see now, the carbonation is mid to high rising up the glass. Anyway, let's get our nose. That smells like 
smell of the hops and the uh, and the malty smell. It's no. It smells like a very very clean lager. It's, it's it's no skunkiness to that one, or what I'm getting is like a tiny 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 bit of fruit fruit kicking off, but not not a lot. Nothing standing out for that. Anyway, it's no point smiling if I can't pick anything out, is it? So um, chin chin, old buddy. Let's have a go. The bootlegger, nineteen seventy four pills now. Interesting. Very interesting. I thought that this would be quite similar to the Wrexham Lager. Because it's made in the same company, but no. Totally different. This is getting a clean, clean, crisp Pilsner. Which is perfect when the bottle says when you've had a gruller. So you're looking for a nice clean drink, just going to go boof, and wash it down. You're not going to think about it, it's just going to go so easy down. I think they got that, that's perfect for that. Light mouthfeel. That's just clean, absolutely clean. You get a nice tingling fruit sensation right at the end last sip last sip last sip as i drink that one now a little bit of lemon lemon definitely lemon on that so ci the citrus is moving about now definitely picking citrusy citrusy flavor in that one so it's got a love Clean, so basically, how, how, how I can describe that, it's a clean, crisp Pilsner, slight bit of fruitiness on the back end with a citrusy sensation right in the middle of the bottle. So that needs to go, or I need to do, the Big Sip Bolting Ability. Let's have a look. Oh, that's, that is absolutely lovely. That is a nice, nice drink for, like it says, when you've had a gruller. I've just done a 12 hour shift. So that is perfect. They got a couple of them in the fridge. Bang, keep going back for them. Working all day doing your 12 hour shifts, knowing them you got, you got them in the fridge. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for that. And as I bolted out then, something was telling my brain that is, is sort of I it's telling me it's like a German Pilsner. If any of you have tasted a German Pilsner, I'm sure you are. I'm pretty sure you have. Um yeah, that's what that's what you can sort of link it with. So basically that's slightly or reminds me of drinking like a strong German Pilsner. Bit of carbonation coming back up. Yeah so the bootlegger 1974 um, that it's only just come on the market. I think it's probably less, maybe less than a year old. That is an eight out of ten for me. I will definitely be ordering more of them in. Um, yeah, I think this. Oh, I I ordered them from the Wrexham Lager site himself, which I think that is the easiest way to get them because, like I said, it's only just come out. So they you've got to get them direct from the run from the Wrexham Lager website. But like, yeah, the bootleg and 1974 Pilsner is an 8 out of 10 for me. I will definitely be ordering some. Maybe I got 24 bottles here. So 23 now. Um, yeah, I'll be ordering now. Probably another lot in the next week or so after I've had some more gruelers. <laughs> yeah, so lads, the 1974 Pilsner bootlegger is an 8 out of 10 for me. I will be definitely buying some more. I do recommend that. And... More reviews to come on a future date.